Hey guys, this is Greg from Personas, and today I want to show you a very cool mix scene workflow trick that you can use to A-B listen the mix that you have right now with the one that you had a couple hours ago to make sure you're still on the right track. Um, in case you're not aware, mix scenes are essentially mixer snapshots in Studio One that you can use to recall your plugin states, your pannings, your channel volumes, and so forth, even automations now with Studio One 5.5 on a per channel or global mixer basis. Uh, let's take a look. So I have a song right here that's courtesy of my good friend Joe Gilder. And um, you'll find the mix scenes if you open up the mixer console and then go to this button here. This will open up the mix scenes. And um, I featured this session already a couple of times. It's just such a great example where we can look at the mix as it was when we started out the session without any insert effects except here on that effects channel with the reverb, as you can see. And um, yeah, this is not even gain staged at this point. It sounds like this. And let's say I'm making a couple of adjustments. Maybe, you know, for some reason I would pan the kick and the sub kick, or maybe just the toms a little bit to the left and the right here, make the kick drum bus a little bit louder, make the snare a little bit louder. And now I want to compare that with what I originally had. Then I can click on the plus here where it says add scene and then call that like volume and panning, panning change one, something like that. And now I can double click between the two and change back and forth to A, B listen, which one sounds better. There's actually also a really great keyboard shortcut for that and that's select scene. You can click on this enter key box here to assign any keyboard shortcut of your choice. In my case, I'm going for uh, control command and S for scene. I would always recommend to assign a keyboard shortcut or a combination that resembles the name of the command somewhat. So for example, because this one is called scene, I tried to feature the letter S in order to be able to memorize it better. Then hit assign, apply and okay. And once you've done that, this will open up this little box here upon triggering. And that is really useful because now you don't even have to have the scenes or the mixer console open anymore. You can just listen to the mix and then use this shortcut, enter the scene and A, B listen on the fly. And I say, let's take a look now how I would use this in my day-to-day -day mixing workflow where this has been just an absolute lifesaver for me. This is not something that you would use when you're still in the arranging stage of your production, but if you're at that mixing stage, it can be just great because after a couple of hours of mixing, you just lose that objective uh, judgment. You get in some sort of tunnel vision and then all you want is to just compare uh, some channel settings or mixer settings A, B directly without any interference, even if that means switching out a couple of plugins. And that's exactly what mix scenes allow you to do. So let me show you this in action. This is what we started out with. This is the start of the mixing stage where we didn't even gain stage anything yet. And uh, now I hit my brand new keyboard shortcut. In my case, control, command, and S. And now I can type either something like first for first hour or gain for the gain staged mix. Can also just enter a numeric value like three would go to the third scene, four would go to the fourth scene. And then I just confirm that by hitting enter. See, this is like already much more powerful, also louder of course, but also thicker and more compressed than what we started out with. And you can see that this recalled not just the insert plugin chains, but also completely different volume settings, different pan settings here on the toms, for instance, and also automation, which is now possible in Studio One 5.5. And if I want to go a little bit further back than that, back to the start, let's say I want to compare that to the gain staged version. I can do that without any audible clicks and pops, any delay whatsoever. Go to the first hour, make sure that the compression settings I actually do in the mix any good and I think so especially on the snare and now I want to compare maybe what the snare sounds like with and without that automation that I added in this case a room reverb automation on the insert that's giving me like a very powerful reverb but then that's fading away very quickly also it's kind of this gated reverb effect that I love on the 80s snares once I decide, yep, 
from all these scenes, that's actually my favorite. I can then proceed mixing from here or decide that I liked something from the first hour mix very much and then right click that channel setting, copy it, select the other scene and paste and keep working. In this case, it was the exact same setting, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, hopefully this is inspiring and helpful. If you haven't worked with mix scenes before, or even if you have already, try out this keyboard shortcut to switch scenes and also especially give them a try once again now that they're able to recall automation in Studio One 5.5, which makes them even more versatile and flexible. Thank you for watching.